Coach Waggle, back here, another pizza review for you. So, hy V brand pizza. hy V's brand is called That Smart. Uh, just like Walmart has a brand called Great Value, which got one of those pizzas, and I will be doing that coming up here in the future. But today, just a little guy, a little That Smart cheeseburger pizza. Uh, so cheeseburger, not always like maybe the most common type of flavor of pizza. I'm guessing, you know, pepperoni and cheese, sausage, supreme. Those are like your mainstream ones. You to the controversial Canadian bacon pineapple, which is good on pizza in my opinion. Anyhow, cheeseburger pizza. I can remember when I was a kid, I used to eat Jack's bacon cheeseburger pizzas quite a bit. And they're pretty decent. And we got a cheeseburger pizza right here. I think it smells good. It smells like a good freaking cheeseburger, I'm gonna be honest. You take a look at the za. There's a look at the old za right there. Just a little guy. I'm not even necessarily really a meal. I feel like you're gonna need to have more with this. Full disclosure, I just ate a big pork chop beforehand. Nice butterfly pork chop. Grew a couple last night. Had one of those. And I figured, yeah, let's have a little pizza as well. Uh, so just a little guy right here. Took it out of the box and did not have high expectations looking at it out of the box. For one, it just has cheddar cheese. Cheeseburger, normally kind of American cheddar, the yellowish type of cheese. That's what you have in a cheeseburger, so not surprising in that regard. But there wasn't a ton of cheese on it. I could see a lot of the red sauce. The sauce looked really ketchupy, um, kind of like, like a lunchable is almost what it looked like coming out of the box. Um, little chunks of sausage. These are just really, really tiny sausage chunks, like the size of uh, those M&M minis. But the thing smells good. Um, so that's that's good. Um, sometimes you take it out of the box, you put it in the in the oven, and uh, turns out better. That's the case here. One thing I do want to comment on kind of the advertising here, okay? So I know this is cheap, and they're probably not spending their money in the advertising department. I think this was like 77 cents. For some reason, that number is sticking in my head. Super cheap. Um, these This is the cheapest pizza I bought. Maybe not a good indicator. Um, for this, the cheapest pizza I've had was the Totino's party pizza, and that was terrible. But I have a little bit higher expectation just because it smells pretty good. Um, and I just want to reiterate, don't read instructions. Uh, so this, this pizza says, you know, you could cook it in a conventional oven, a toaster oven, and even gives you microwave instructions. Don't cook pizzas in the microwaves. Yep, um, the lesson I've learned the hard way, don't cook pizzas in the microwaves. Put this sucker in the toaster oven. Since it's just a little guy, it fits in there. Uh, it appears to be cooked pretty good. If we take a look at it, holds up pretty decent. Uh, the bottom of that looks like your mainstream pizza crust, okay? Holds up good. I mean, you can notice none of the toppings are sliding or anything. Got it cooked pretty well uh, to where the cheese kind of melts and holds it all together. Um, it's, I don't know. Honestly, it's looking good. And they say expectations are kind of everything, okay? Well, Expectation taken out of the box and looking at the box where you have a freaking cartoon drawing of a slice of pizza um, Does not lead to high expectations But you know, after cooking it smelling it yeah, decently higher expectations I was thinking this is gonna be like a, a two or three pizza, but I think it might actually be to the decent range um, So kind of a five or above uh, So I'm kind of looking forward to this pizza and I'm also looking forward to uh, this song to show you guys this song so, it's a Tuesday. Um, some people call it Tuesdays uh, when you're in college, I guess. Uh, there's the phrase, turn up Tuesday, you know, just kind of have a good time. Anyways, a bit of a more upbeat type of song. I'm sure many of you have seen the movie Mulan, a Disney classic. I think they just, either they remade it, like live action, or they're, it's going to come out. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. But Mulan, classic cartoon when I was a kid growing up cartoonish movie of, of Disney and there's a famous song in there called I'll make a man out of you and we got like a, an EDM remix of this song I'll make a man out of you um, so we're gonna put that on you know just for the heck of it we're gonna put that song on as we review this pizza here it's got a bit of an in instrumental start but uh, the lyrics pick up remember positive vibes always 
and their pizza a day keeps the corona away. I didn't mean to cut it, just you know, eat it with one hand, put the sandwich. Get down to business. Okay, there's no hiding it. I don't know, maybe you can discern from my facial expressions. I'm trying to be pretty deadpan, but uh, this is bad. This is a very bad pizza. I'm really feeling more confident by the day in the theory that you get what you pay for in a pizza. This is not good. Not a good pizza. Definitely tastes frozen. Kind of reminds me of like a Lunchable. Looks fine, but the crust is not good. The sausage, you don't even really taste the sausage. The sausage has like no taste. I don't know how it's possible, but it's no taste to the sausage. Um, tastes like I'm eating a cracker. Tastes like I'm eating a, a Ritz cracker with a chunk of cheese on it. And there's no tomatoey taste, no sausage taste. No really taste of this pizza. I mean, I guess the good thing is, it's a small little guy. It'll be over pretty soon. Since we're sitting here on Tuesday, it's a quarter and a half. Nice taco Tuesday right now. A little pizza taco. Paco. Paco, pizza taco. You know, just no oh, ifs, ands, or buts about it. No way around it. Not a good pizza. Um, pretty disappointing. One final bite. One final bite, and give you the score. Okay. We're gonna go with. A two. Yep, we have a two pizza right here. A two for you on the old za. I used to listen to a radio station. They used to always play what they call two for Tuesday. So they'd have bands and they play two of their songs back to back. And now it's, I don't know, I got distracted. Happens sometimes. But we got a two pizza for the That Smart. Um, maybe you should call it That's Economical. Um, that's not good tasting, that's for sure. I don't even know why it's smart. Um, it's, just, it's not a good pizza. I mean, it's got a cartoon drawing on it. Cheap as hell. It's not good. I'm usually a fan of getting things that like, aren't name brand because I don't really care as long as it tastes good, but this just does not taste good. Uh, not a good pizza whatsoever. If we look at the old uh, it's been a hot minute, but the old chart I got with the kind of pictures uh, rating the pizzas. Well, number one, I'm Trash from the great movie Toy Story 4. Funny little character. It's a little bit better because, like, I'm not choking on it. I don't want to spit it out. So it's not complete trash. Uh, but it's, it's two right there. Thumbs down. Um, yeah, it's, it's got two thumbs down. Not good. Usually, you get pizza or really any food you're eating, you're like, hey, I want this to be good. It's not good. Um, it's just not a good pizza. Not a good pizza. Um, after I finish this, I'm gonna look forward to going outside, probably playing a little bit of golf, enjoying the great weather. It's like 75 degrees and it's uh, not even noon yet. So I'm really loving uh, these summer vibes. Uh, positive vibes always. Not positive vibes from a That Smart's Pizza though. That, that's smart pizza, that smart pizza, not so smart.